Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I uploaded. Um, last night I did a live stream and I covered, somebody asked about performance on Quest and mobile devices and how you can increase that a little bit through these. So one of the things that people don't really know is occlusion culling is a setting in project settings. So we have a look, edit project settings. And if you're working on any project, you should really enable this. We're gonna go down to rendering and then we want to find support software occlusion culling, which I think is around here somewhere. We've got culling here. We want occlusion culling on, that's fine. But there's another one somewhere. So I'm just gonna search it. Yeah, so we've got support software occlusion culling and by default, this is disabled. You wanna enable this and what that allows you to do is actually have objects hide other objects so for example if we jump back in here I have this wall right here which is technically in front of something else so what this is doing it will be culling these walls at the back and maybe these walls in here so they can't actually be seen in the headset and it's just one way of improving performance but the catch is just enabling it in project settings doesn't actually work what you need to do is select all of your static meshes and it only works for static meshes so come all the way down here I'm gonna do this so you've got these in the scene already and then we're gonna right click and then we want bulk edit via property matrix I think I need to do browse to assets instead so what that will do is show us everything I've got selected I can right click asset actions bulk edit via property matrix and I need to remember which one this is because it's always, I always get it wrong. So this one, we want LOD for occlusion mesh. If we hover over, say spec specifies which mesh LOD to use as occluded geometry for software occlusion. So by default, this is set to minus one, which is none. It's, it's technically disabled and it's absolutely pointless. But if you go into here and then you set this to zero, what it'll do is it'll update these to actually use their default meshes and it'll fix this. So you do file, <clears throat> save all. That'll go through and it'll update these changes. So now if we close this down and we open up one of these meshes, so browse to asset, we'll double click it and give it an open. It'll be behind the sky box somewhere, I think. But if we scroll down on the right now, we have where is it? LOD for occlusion mesh. And now they're all set to zero. Also, disable blocking unless you really need it. But um, what that'll do now is in your headset, any mesh will be occluded that's behind it. Um, if you're struggling to hit frame rate, give this a shot and uh, you probably get about, I don't know, you, you get quite a bit of frame rate back. I was struggling to be fair early on. I was using the, the Vive Focus and this was running like trash, but just enabling that helped me hit the frame rate that I was going after. So this is pretty much just a very quick tip video, but I hope that's something and I hope it helps. Let me know in the, the Discord or in the Patreon as well. It'd be awesome to see how you guys are actually using these sort of tutorials to, to help your projects or where else I can do more tutorials to like to help out anyway. <laughs> but thank you to all the Patreons for, for making this possible. And I really do hope to get more videos out soon. Cool. Bye.